How's it going everyone? Lord UK here and today we're going to be trying this cool little indie game called Blacksmith Song of Two Kings. Now I've played the demo of this and as soon as I got to the crafting uh, it, it was sold. Completely sold. It seems once you get to actually the metal smithing it, it's, it's so hard. At least that's how it feels. Anyway let's get on with it. Well, after having a flick through, I think I'm going to go with Lockhard. Yeah. I will say yes to the tutorial, but I'm going to speed run most of it. Move left and right by holding the left mouse button. Okay. This is your forge. Here's items in storage. We need them in our forge, so we need to drag them over. We only have four spaces, but fortunately, we only have four tools. So we'll put these over there. Uh, then we need to go to the materials tab and do the same, put our materials over at the forge too. Because if we don't have those we can't use them. And uh, then we've got components, we'll put those there and here is where we can upgrade. Right, and then clicking this again will close it. And now open the house one. And this is the tab where you'll be able to upgrade your home. Very important because comfort and surroundings have strong influence on your work. It wants us to click on that, but hold on. Bit empty, the dwarf's getting us some beer. And here's where we can upgrade our house as well. Excellent, okay, thank you. Uh, here is our experience and gold. Not everywhere will welcome an unskilled blacksmith and the seller at the market will turn his back on you if he finds out that you are broke. Uh, this opens the menu, we'll skip that. This button takes you to the map. This is your gallery where you can see your work that you've saved. Cool, let's go to the map. This is your forge and your house. You'll be able to return there a little later. Okay, we click there to go back there. And you can move around by holding left mouse. Excellent. Uh, time to look around. Take your first blacksmithing order. Places are marked with a golden triangular pointer, just like this. Click on it. Okay, so that's general information. Here is where we can get blacksmithing orders, items you can purchase, and characters willing to join you. Uh, so the first thing we need to make is a ladder. And there is the order condition. The accuracy must be 75% or higher. And there's the payment. And this is the blueprint, or the scheme as they call it. Right, let's get to it. So you're in your forge, let's start making your first order. This is the scheme of the order. Put your crafted item here to check if it fits the conditions. Uh, I'm going to be using this non-stop. Use the left mouse button to move the canvas with the scheme. This is useful for checking dimensions. Very handy. Here you'll find the condition of the order, 75%. Obviously you need two long wooden poles and five short sticks. To open the box with materials, click here. Scroll through the list by dragging here. Wonderful. Materials are stored in packs. Okay. So how many packs and the bottom one's the amount in a pack. Right, we need to take wooden sticks first, so drag them down. This will of course be the rungs of the ladder. So we'll want these. Uh, so it says to select it, then we can move it by clicking and holding the left mouse button, which will allow it to rotate like this. And if we hold right mouse, then it won't allow it to rotate. So very handy when you need to assemble things. Here's where our waste bin is. Bring anything you want to get rid of here. Now we need a wooden saw. Let's get it. I already know how, but we've got to let the tutorial do its thing. So we press the arrows. Turn the tool to its original position. Yep, I know this. Wonderful. It rotated my stick for me. Here's the saw. You're going to see me use it, so don't worry about this. And then it wants us to saw the sticks. So of course we're going to want to cut the stick in half. Or at least the best I can do. So if we just move that, make sure this is a nice straight line. And half is about there, would you say? Yeah, this this looks about right. Oh, this isn't this isn't good for me. And we saw that lovely little sound there. And then if we grab this, look at that, a perfect fit. So we need to saw three more of those. So we'll want to grab another stick, line this up, that looks nice and flat, get this saw flat. Ooh, got to get used to the rotation thing though. It's very physics based, which I love. I would say that's about half. Nice. Okay, now we just need one more of those. Line up this final stick. It's gonna 
leave us with one left over, but that's no problem. Well, this one's quite long. How's this one look? This one... No, I'll go with the long one. In the bin with you. Okay, we've done that. Now it wants us to get, I guess, two of the poles. Oops, okay. The riveting hammer. It's just telling us about that. You'll see that in action. And now we want two of these. So there's one. There's two. And then we want to make them vertical. Lovely. Line them up with this blueprint schematic. Oh, that's, that's looking very nice. And then we get the riveting tool out and we start riveting. So we want to line up that circle. We drill a hole and then we hammer that rivet. Perfect. Okay, and now we'll do it to the rest of them. And look at that, we have completed our first item. We have made a ladder and it's holding together. Oh, amazing. Right, okay, so let's line it up with this schematic here. Should be 100% surely. Yep, 100%, can't get better than that. And we click here to continue. We got our 10 gold, wonderful. Congratulations, you have completed your first order. Let's take a look at the next order. So, a wooden door. Ooh, this order is more complicated. It requires careful preparation. For that, click here. This menu specifies everything you need to fulfill this order. So we have the two tools. Let's go to the materials tab. Right, so we're missing wooden planks. A bright tick icon means that the material is ready for work. If you forget to put the material into the forge, the tick icon will be dark. Uh, there is no tick icon with the planks. This means you don't have the materials. You have to get it somewhere. Uh, and then we've got the tools tab. Oh, right, yes, they have a little tick by their icon if you have everything, so you don't have to click on each one. Uh, close the menu, click on it. Right, let's close this and take a look around the map. There's a market stall here, okay. And there's the boards we need. Wonderful. So we buy those. Close the stall by clicking anywhere. Then let's visit the tavern. Okay, so we want to take all this stuff. Here is the grinding wheel. We'll take that. And here's light beer. So now it wants us to go back to the home, but it tells us there's an easier way to do it. So, okay, we click tick. We're going to follow it now. Let's go back here. Take a look at the order. Click the preparation menu and click on this button with the forge icon. And that creates a hovering icon, which tells us it's going to put us in planning mode. So, I mean, I think I'll do that all the time, to be honest. So now you have picked the order and entered preparation mode. Okay, let's go to the forge, open the tab with materials, drag the boards to it. Payment for the order is indicated here. We'll get 15 gold for crafting the door. Let's go to the house, click on the keg of beer. So at the bottom, it tells us payment for orders increased by 17 gold. So we want that. A very nice frothy sound there. Everything is ready, you can get to work. Okay, here we go. So you need to make a door. You already know everything you need, but first, let's check the stuff. Okay, open this. Get a stick. Right, you are. We've got the stick. Click on it with the left mouse button. The parameters of the selected item are displayed here. Okay, yes. And then this tells you what type of object it is. So this is a material. It tells you its composition. So this is wood. And then it tells us about weight, all the other statistics. Now get on work with making the door. Excellent. So now I imagine it's not going to hold my hand here. So I'm going to line this up to here. Make it as accurate as I can to this uh, schematic and then we want to get our wood saw out and we'll cut it around there let's do it delightful first cut that was lovely and easy we'll keep that because that could be a door handle let's get another stick whoopsie doodle let's put this up here lovely yeah and then we want to do the same thing here cut it about there i reckon delightful. Now this one looks a bit longer. I'm not sure. Let's see. Does this one a nice handle? Yeah, that looks good. Let's bin this. 
Perfect. Okay, so we've got those. All we need now are the boards. So if we move to... move across? Yeah, there we go. And we need three of them. So we'll plonk one down, another one down, and the final board. And now we just need to line them up with the blueprint. And from what we learned in the tutorial, we want to click these. Uh, oh, there we go. Click that one, and they will stay on top. And then we just want to line this up. Very nice, very nice. Oh, wait, hold on. My door handle is definitely not in the right place. Let's get you to the front. There we go. And that door is 100%. Now, we just need to rivet everything in place. So let's get on with that, shall we? Oh, and look at that. Wonderful, a completed door. Uh, we don't need any of that. So let's see if it all holds together. Yes, it does. Everything's riveted in. It's got the rivets in identical places too. That's great. 100%. Oh, and it has more defense than originally thought. Okay, so we can click here to save our work in the gallery and it contains up to seven works. Some items and characters use these works for your benefit. Very interesting. Uh, don't really care about the snapshot. Thank you. 32 gold. Right, it wants us to click at the top right to view information on upgrading your house and forge. Okay, wow, lots of information. So that shows us the number of guests and rooms. That shows us the items and storage. Uh, guest rooms and storage. Cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, congratulations. The tutorial has been completed. You will still receive some tips later. And that's the reason... I chose to go with the tutorial, just in case. So we'll get those feathers. We'll get this leather belt. Wow, oh, no, we've got 42 gold. I mean, I haven't got a job that needs it just yet. Actually, thinking about it, we're going to need to buy them or we won't be able to get this order. So it's only five gold. Let's buy that. And this is a wooden bow. For some orders, you can get an extra payment if you fulfill special conditions. Click on the attached sheet behind the menu. Okay. So mastership, 85%, and we get a premium of 10 gold on top of our payment, I assume? Very nice. Okay, so I assume we have everything we need, but assumption is the mother of all mess-ups. Tick, tick, tick. They've all got ticks on them. Yeah, great. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this anyway, because I'd rather get into the habit of it. Click on this menu to see the special conditions of the order. Okay, yeah, so we just click that. We can see 85% accuracy is what they're after here. Right, so what we will need... Oh, okay, we'll click on this as it's telling us to. That's where we get our components from, like our rope. So we're going to need one of these, because this is a perfect shape. Perhaps a bit thick at the bottom, but I could give that a saw and thin it out. But I am going to need to cut off these branches. So let's get on with that first, shall we? So it's just about getting the angle, soaring angle, right. Because I don't want to take off too much of the actual branch, but I do want to thin it out. So maybe if I cut here. Okay, and that should be off. Yes, it is. Okay, in the bin with that. And then we need to do the next one. We will do this in a lower one here. Oh, this is a, a tricky one. I don't want to cut into the actual bow. Let's give it a bit of an angle and saw. Lovely. Okay, and that can go in the bin. And then we've just got that tiny bit at the top. So let's give this a little rotate. And now we just want to get the angle right. This looks good. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. There's a bit of a... Bit of a jagged edge there, but we're good. Let's just line it up. Is that fine? It's a bit on the long side, but I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm not going to go that crazy into the detail yet. I will, however, thin this bottom bit out some more, though. Right, so the angle we're going to want is, I guess, around here? Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. I just need to fix this lump out, though. Oh, there, okay. Didn't make a sound, but it did the job. 
Look at that. Okay, I'm liking that. So now we just need the rope. I got to this point in the demo and the rope is just a joy to use. It was very confusing at first. It says to keep an eye on your rope supply at the menu in the upper right. So that's there and it gives us a little example on how to use rope. So what we need to do is unattach it from there, grab it from the bottom, bring it up and over and then release and it, there we go and it attaches and there we go. As simple as that we have our bow. Now how is our accuracy? 98, 98%. I would say that's just because it's a bit longer but we needed 85 for the premium so good times. We will definitely save that. 47 gold. Oh and we got some reputation. Now that we've completed that it looks like we've unlocked antlers. How much is he charging for the old antlers? Oh, only 10 gold. We'll definitely buy that and it'll unlock the next order. Oh, so this is for our first metal item, an axe. Right, well, if we can't do it yet, he says we need to upgrade our house. So let us go to our house and see if we can upgrade it, shall we? Over here. Yes, we can. We can upgrade it to a small forge. That gives us an extra space for another tool which I'm assuming we're going to need the uh, whetstone, the grinding wheel. All right, let's go back to the map and now let's check that order. So if we click on this book, it's got a tick on everything. So it looks like we have all we need. It doesn't need any components. Great. Okay, let's just go straight to it then, shall we? Oh, and here we are. Okay, so this was the final order I did in the demo and... <sighs> Shaping metal is definitely not my forte. I love it, but it's just not my forte. So we'll want this. This is the perfect handle for this axe. Look at that, it's meant to be. I just need to cut it to size. So we will do that now. Let's get our saw out, our wooden saw. Oh, okay, it's telling us about the hammer because I just selected it accidentally. Right, we wanna line this up. About, I would say, here at this angle. That looks like a good spot. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll move that out the way. We'll move this. We're not going to need that, are we? Let's bin that. Now we just need to take the branches off of here. And then it should be good to go. And we've got to work on the metal bit after that. So yeah, let's, let's cut this down. Right, this angle here, we've done this already, so we know what to do. Cut that bit, that was a lovely cut, didn't even go into the main part of the branch. And then we want to slice this tiny bit off. Oh yes, and now we have a completed handle. Oh, hello, get yourself in the bin. What are you doing? Go in the bin, thank you. Right, we don't need that. Here we go. Let's put this in its position. Have we done it? We, we've done it perfectly. Look at it. Very pleasing to the eye. Now the metal. Okay, so we're going to want a metal ingot right here. Now with the way that this naturally looks, I'm going to use the biggest flat edge as the blade. Because if we bring it over here, you'll see what I mean. It's pretty much exactly what we need in size and in flatness. I just have to be careful and try and preserve that as I'm hammering it out. So yeah, we need to hit down here, try and spread the metal. A uh, lot of spreading is going to be involved here. So let's put it this side and we need to get our blacksmithing hammer out. Here it is. It's heated the metal for us. We need to position this just right. And let's hit here. there's uh, like an acceleration to the mouse. So if you move the mouse really quickly, you'll do harder hits, which you have to be careful of. It's hard to return things. It's like real life. If you've made a mistake, it's really hard to undo that mistake. You'll just have to grab another bit of metal. Okay, so far this isn't looking too bad. It's not exactly the shape right now. I'm going to do some more to it, but that's not looking too bad, ignoring that back bit. I need to hit the bottom here and try and spread out the metal a bit more. So let's move this in position and get smacking. All right, let's not hit it too much. Let's check it again. Oh, look at that. Not too bad at all. 
I need to sort the back bit out, but I think that's as good as I'm going to be getting it right now. Um, yeah, let's work on this back bit now. Line this up and hit it here. As you can see, it's making it wider at the back. It's spreading that metal out and making that bottom bit look god awful. But hey, what can you do? This is my first metal item. And 82% isn't actually, 83 isn't that bad. Right here. Flatten out for me. Little taps, little taps. Okay, how does this look? Much thinner at the back, flatter too. We're looking at 92%. Ooh-wee, okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I feel like I need to fiddle with it more, and I, I am. All right, let's see if I've gained any percentage or lost any. I have lost 1%. I, why am I doing this? Okay, I'm hammering again. <laughs> I really need to tidy up this bottom bit. It's bothering me. I should stop myself, really. Right, okay, here we go. 94, 94. I'm hammering it again. Why am I hammering it again? <laughs> now we need to flatten this bit out. Oh, what have I done? Right, okay, now. <laughs> right, we're hitting it again. At the bottom here, we need to squish it out because I've made it too long and thin. Right, now we're looking at it again. 91%. I, I've, I've got to stop myself there. I have to. I could just keep doing this for ages. Let's get riveting, shall we? Well, look at that. Uh, I suppose it's not the most beautiful of axes, but considering it's my first proper go at making one, it's not that bad. I now need to sharpen it, though. So let's get the sharpening wheel out. There it is. Okay, so it's telling us that's the guiding shelf. We can install and remove the guiding shelf with this bottom lever. And we can start and stop the wheel with the right lever. So of course we're gonna want the guiding wheel. I'm gonna need to angle it just right. And then let's bring it down here. And I'm gonna slide it downwards like this. I feel like that's the way I'm gonna do it. Right, let's turn this on. Let's get sliding. Okay, you can see it's giving it an edge. Oh god, it's moving up then. Don't want that. Okay, it's giving it an edge, but we're gonna need a bigger one. If you look at there, there's, there's quite a large edge on it. So hopefully this is the way. Oh yes, that's me. Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on at that part? The back, the bottom end of the blade, that's perfect. Why? I guess it's angled slightly. It's not as flat as I thought it was. Let's rotate it a bit and see if we can remedy that by rubbing it like this. Oh god, now I've just made a U shape. Okay, so this blade looks like it has an icy magical edge. And what percentage are we looking at here? It was in the 90s. 93. And it does 6 damage instead of the 5 that they want. We will definitely save that. We don't know how this will be useful. And 57 gold. Great. So now we've completed that, we've unlocked this, which is leather. We'll definitely buy that. 10 gold. We're going to need it at some point. We've completed the forester and it looks like we've unlocked a graveyard. Right, let's go back home and add all of these things there, just in case I forget. And we can't afford another upgrade. I think, unfortunately, it's locked behind uh, story progress because it's not even telling me I can buy it or whatever, so... Looking over at the trading stall, we can get flat steel rods for 10, definitely. We can get a candle, I guess for a candelabra or something? Oh, and it's unlocked the bottom row of stuff. Oh my goodness, or the middle row. Simple pommel, a small hammer. Unlike the blacksmith's hammer, this tool is entirely unsuitable for bending metal. However, it is highly effective for small localized deformations of the piece. This is of great importance since some items require a jeweler's approach for for to forging. 
Oh my god, fine detailing. That scares me. Paid a visit to the tavern and managed to get this kitty cat. Look at that. Amazing. Oh yes, meow indeed. I am very happy with that. And over here, he has a butcher's knife that he wants made. I think that's possibly what we will do. But unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this. As always, I really do appreciate it. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you all next time. Cheers! Cheers!